SQL Server has historically included two sample databases, Pubs and Northwind. With SQL Server 2005, Microsoft introduced AdventureWorks. Let me go ahead and show you where it is and just spend a couple minutes becoming familiar with it. So opening SQL Server Management Studio to look at AdventureWorks. Opening the databases, AdventureWorks, tables. You notice that there's several tables here. Each one is categorized by a different schema. Here's human resources schema, the person schema, production schema. The problem with AdventureWorks is that it is highly normalized, almost overnormalized in some opinions. The benefit of AdventureWorks is that there's lots of data, so it's good for testing larger processes and indexes and performance tuning. If perchance you did not install AdventureWorks when you initially installed SQL Server, and that's easy to do because the AdventureWorks installation is actually hidden and you need to drill down and find it and actually specifically enable AdventureWorks. If you just say install all, it does not install. Let me show you where you can find it on the web. So this is the SQL homepage for SQL Server in downloads 2005 downloads scroll down to sample databases there's several variations of AdventureWorks both the OLTP database which would be the normal transaction database and the BI database the one that is referenced mostly by Books Online is the OLTP database, and I would recommend installing the case-insensitive version. So if you download this file, go ahead and run it. It will create the database for you. There's one more thing you need to know. While it creates the database, it does not attach it to SQL Server. So what you need to do is either attach it through the GUI, or there's some code, and they list out the code right here. This is the SP attach command. You can always grab this and just run it in one of the query examples. So that's how you can go ahead and install AdventureWorks after you do an installation of SQL Server. In the project files sample databases, you'll see there's four other sample databases. These are databases that I've created that I've used both in my books and in my teaching. They're specifically tuned for demonstrating specific aspects of SQL Server programming. So let's go ahead and install those as well. The ESOP database is a collection of ESOP's fables, nice, short, succinct little stories that are great for full text search. So let's install that one. Double clicking on create connect. This is then a script which when executed creates the database. You can see the query was successful and we refresh the database listing. There's ESOP's fables. Inside of it is just one table with some fables. Open the table so you can see it. Close the properties out of the way. Give us a little more room. And you can see that there's not a lot of text in here, but it's a nice, short little database, great for full text search type databases. The next database is the Cape Hatteras Adventures database, or CHA database. And something I need to show you about this one is that the customers and schedule files, those were, that's where the data comes from originally. So it's an access database, an Excel spreadsheet, not very well normalized. The idea is that you're coming along as a consultant fixing the database, so it's great for distributed queries. And they need to be copied over to the SQL data directory. That's so that we know when we go to import the data, it's in one place on every machine. So go ahead and copy that over to the SQL data directory and possibly even create that directory if it's not already there. So run the create for CHA, run execute, just takes a second or so, the database created all the tables, come back and refresh the database listing, there's CHA, now there's no data in here yet, we need to go ahead and run the convert. So here's the convert script, 
you'll notice that the convert script does pull the data in from the C SQL data directory. I've already copied the files over there, execute the script, and it pulls all the data in and it normalizes it at the same time. And we'll walk through these scripts later on. And it pulls it into Basecamp customer event. Let me show you what it looks like originally. So looking in the customer's access database, and go ahead and open it, show you the customers, not a lot of data in here. Obviously it's denormalized for customer type, first name, last name, not a lot of data, but it's the original access database. Close access, open the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet has primarily two ranges. The first one is the event code, the events, the tours, the guides. It's a, basically a schedule. The second range is a listing of participants as far as who actually attended each one of the events. And what the convert script did was pulled data out of these two files, put it into different normalized tables inside of SQL Server. And that's the Cape Hatteras Adventures database. The next database is the family database. Go ahead and run the script. The family database is four or five generations of one family. It's useful for showing a hierarchy type database with self joins. And the last database is the OBX Kites database. OBX comes from Outer Banks, North Carolina. So run this create script. And then run the populate script. What's different about the OBX Kites database is that every call to the database is done through a data access layer or an abstraction layer using stored procedures. As you can see as I scroll through here, they're all execute stored procedures. So let's execute the script. Populates it very quickly. Just to check, we'll come back to Object Explorer and refresh the databases. And there's AdventureWorks, Aesop's Fables, K. Patterson Adventures, The Family, the original old Northwind, and OBX Kites. And those are the sample databases we'll be working with. So in this lesson, we explored SQL Server architecture, looked at client-server architecture, the different components and features inside of SQL Server, looked at the different editions of SQL Server and what they're used for, and became familiar with the sample databases.